We're in Windows Phone 10 and we're going to downgrade back to Windows Phone 8 or 8.1. And if you want to download the tool that does this, I've got it right here, this URL right here. You can pause and copy that down if you'd like. So let's uh, take a look. I've launched the tool and this is the initial screen that you get. So let's go ahead and click install. And we'll fast forward during any of the uh, parts where it's going to take a while. And it's starting to get going now. All right, so the initial part is done, and it's prompting us to continue on with the wizard. Go ahead and accept the terms. Of course, I'm going to read them thoroughly. And we're going to uh, we'll go ahead and create a shortcut on the desktop if you want. And now it's finishing up the installation. So we'll go ahead and launch the application now. And there are some long pauses between uh, when we click on something and something happens, but that's okay. All right, so uh, we've got our phone. Let's go. We're gonna go ahead and connect it up. All right, it sees our Lumia 1520. So we'll go ahead and click on that, and it is continuing. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the software. And it says our personal content will be erased. Fortunately, I have it all backed up. So make sure that you have yours all backed up. Otherwise, you're going to lose all that data, all those pictures and videos and things like that. So it's going to require uh, almost two gigabytes of download. So I'll go ahead and fast forward. All right, we're done with the download. And now we're going with the software package installation. And again, this could take a while. so. We'll go ahead and fast forward. All right, it says it was successful. We'll go ahead and click Finish. And now the phone is restarting. So it says it can't detect it, but that's okay. It will once it finishes restarting. All right, we'll click back on our Lumia. And it says on the phone, it's getting things ready. And now it's showing that the phone is mostly empty. Whereas before we had a lot of uh, data on there, it's now gone. But fortunately, I've, I've backed everything up, so I can go ahead and do a restore. And uh, we'll see what's going on with the phone here in just one second. Although you can't see it, the phone is now walking me through the startup installation as if I had just gotten the phone right off the shelf. And now it's prompting me to restore my phone from a previous backup because I'm connected with a USB cable to the computer. So I'm going to go ahead and choose yes to that. All right, the phone is finishing up doing the restore. It looks like the uh, email that I had before, I'm going to have to set those mailboxes back up again, uh, but everything else seems to be going just fine. Any customizations I did on applications also will need to be set up again, such as uh, stock portfolios and things like that. But at least the applications are all there, and it's fairly easy to uh, turn those back on again. So that is downgrading uh, Windows Phone 10 back to 8 or 8.1.